And finally, on the twelfth day of Flashmas. Planning ahead for once, Matt sought to revisit a series that he spent much time on, with the intent of covering it completely in the future. Enjoy this two-parter, and have a very Merry Christmas. And here, finally on Christmas Day, something of a setup for the future. This is Epic Battle Fantasy. This is another, another little series that I very, very much enjoyed growing up. It's another one I hold near and dear to my heart, and particularly from the third game on, as uh, it goes from what we'll see as to be pretty much just battle gauntlets into full-fledged RPGs. It's actually amazing the evolution of this series, and I still love it to absolute pieces. So, today I'm going to be giving you not just one, but two videos going over both Epic Battle Fantasies 1 and 2 with, uh, with the promise of one day, probably not right away, but one day getting to the third game and making a proper let's play out of it. But for now, let's begin with Epic Battle Fantasy. So, basically this works off a turn-based, you know, regular JRPG. Uh, we'll just go normal, why not? Alright, so... Now, it is a gauntlet, there isn't a whole lot of gameplay other than the battling, so... We want to try and use, you know, about as much money as we can. So, to start off with in the shop here... We pretty much just want to buy potions, ethers, and waters of life. None of the other stuff. I mean, we want to buy antidotes and bob bombs later on in the game, but everything else we can do without. So, six each of them, and a bunch of potions. That should just be it. Okay, fine. One antidote just to rent it out. <laughs> so, there's not going to be another shot for a while. But let's get going. So, like I said, this game is pretty much just a battle gauntlet in a turn-based RPG style. So, we have our two characters here. We have a swordsman and a mage. I'm not sure if they're named yet, but they will come to be known as Matt and Natalie. Hey, it's Matt. No, that's that's not me at all. That's uh, the creator of the game and probably his self-insert. <laughs> so, Matt here. Well, basic basics with both of them. They can attack and defend. What's special about Matt is that he can change his sword in the middle of battle. He's got a bunch of different swords here, each with their own attributes, uh, advantages, disadvantages. Yeah. And they go pretty well with the Bushido, which is basically his sword techniques, some of which uh, are enhanced by which sword you are using. And this is basically Matt's main way of dealing elemental damage. And we also got his basic uh, special stuff here. So this is his uh, uh, his buffs, uh, his debuffs, and uh, just regular non-elemental magical damage. So I think to start him off, we're only against the weakest of the weak to start off with. So I'll just go straight for the Soul Eater, uh, which has a massive attack buff but lowers everything else. And now we have Natalie, who's a basic mage, so you know, she has an attack, but you don't really want to use it, she's a mage. And something special about Natalie is that when you defend with her, if she gets hit by a magical attack, she is able to recover some MP, and with certain attacks, that is going to be such a great way of getting your MP back that you, they're just better than spamming ethers sometimes. Right off the bat, she's got regular old or white magic, which is your... to healing... I don't know why I stumbled on that word. <laughs> so healings, your buffs, and use a holy magic. Uh, black magic, which is your basic offensive magic. Uh, mostly our elemental magic and some non-elemental. And of course, summons, because, uh, you know, gotta have some summons in here. So, our first enemies to start off with are just basic slimes. Uh, they don't really have any weaknesses. They are pretty weak. So just use whatever the hell you want. These guys are basically just target practice, just to get you used to everything. Not that there's a whole lot to get used to. I oh, actually got a potion off that battle. A few more of the slimes. I think we're going to be facing about three rounds of these guys. 
or four? Three or four? I don't know, we'll find out soon. <laughs> Three of them for this round. Yeah, I am already using a bit of MP with Nat, but, uh, I mean, she's the mage. Physical attacks aren't really going to do much. <laughs> okay, it was four rounds of these guys. There will not be four rounds of regular enemies before each boss, uh, here on out. This is just for slimes, just to get used to shit. Attack. Alright, so now we got our first boss. This is the King Slime. A little cat on there. How about that? Yeah, just like all the regular slimes, uh, he has no particular weaknesses. Uh, so just lay into him. I'm just gonna go straight with Legend because I got Solid or equipped, and this is the best weapon to have it with. Look at that. Tons of damage there. So I will basically just keep this up on this guy. Pretty basic. This guy is just a damage bunch. That's still a lot of damage for a single strike, I will say. Now, he is able to heal himself, so we do need to watch out for that. Uh, do I want to go Legend again? Yeah, why not? I'll have Nat heal us up. This should be just about good. Nice. That's how we got the uh, Final Fantasy IX battle theme in the background. And... Now Twilight Princess Hyrule Fields. The best Hyrule Field theme. I will accept no substitutions. <laughs> so I've got these floating eyeballs here. Now their weakness is ice. Matt does not have any ice moves. What I will do though is change a sword out. Now two swords in particular you really want to make good use of just to like pro prolong your survivability are the Devil Sunrise and the Blood Blade. The Devil Sunrise drains MP from enemies. While the Blood Blade drills, uh, yeah, drills, drains HP. Um, let's see. Blood Blade doesn't drop any attack. And uh, Matt just needs a bit of HP, so I'll just use the Blood Blade for the time being. While Nat can focus on hitting these things with their weakness. She's gonna have to use heal more anyway, but you know, the thought was there. There we go. Eh, yeah, screw it, we'll just use Glacier. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Uh, we can use Wind Slash again. Really helpful for hitting everything on screen. Really good when you got something like the Blood Blade or the Devil Sunrise. Uh. Take one of these things out. This one is just two rounds of mooks and a boss. So I can get rid of two of them, then I can start really doing stuff. And by doing stuff, I mean healing. <laughs> you. I'll just have Matt defend while I have Nat heal up. Matt and Nat. Nat and Matt. Matt and Nat. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Now, we have the Beholder. Okay, still weak against ice. Um, I will switch out Matt's sword. But for what? Um, here's the room play, why not? I'll have Nat still use Glacier. I'm not making much use of my buffs just yet, but uh, I will later, believe you me. Um, hmm. 
Let's see how much Screamer works. Ah, dropped his magic defense. That's actually really good. Just what I needed. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that attack. It is a tentacle monster. <laughs> And of course, bringing out Power Metal just starts playing through the fire and the flames. <laughs> but that's the only healing ability that Matt really has. He'll deal non-elemental damage to all enemies and heal both party members for a bit. Not nearly as much as Heal More will, but enough. And that attack did poison Natalie. Now there's two, really only two status elements that we'll need to worry about in this game. That is Poison and Seal. Poison, well it's poison, it drains your health every turn. Uh, seal will uh, leave you unable, well, unable, <laughs> unable to use your special abilities for a time. Um, I'll try Screamer again. See if I can lower it even more. Yeah, that works. Now debuffing does stack away, so that should be pretty good. That is magic defense, right? Or is that magic attack? I think that's magic defense. Pretty sure it's magic defense. I think Screamer can uh, do both, so. Yeah, definitely magic defense. Oh, again? Huh. Well, that's just not fair. <laughs> um, I'm gonna switch Matt's sword out to the Devil Sunrise so I can start getting some MP back on him. I'll have Nat heal herself. Just keep welling in a bit like that just to get me ready for the next uh, transition. Don't poison me again. You're gonna do it, aren't you? Okay. Alright, I can deal with that. Not sure what I want to do here. I guess I'll just use airstrike. Now, airstrike can bring down one of two things. It can bring down three small missiles, which will deal damage to all enemies, or one huge missile, which will deal massive damage to one enemy. And outside of um using bob bomb items, that is the only way that we're really going to be doing any bomb damage, which some bosses uh, do have a weakness against, so that, uh, that airstrike is going to be very useful later on. I'll have Matt use power metal again. Rock out. And keep going with the glacier. And down goes the beholder. Who's next? Tree. But of course. Alright, so I'll have Matt get some HP back. Oh, MP back. Regular attacks just drain a lot of MP. Like, Matt's back up to Mac or Max already. <laughs> um Do I want Nat to use an ether? I'll save that for later. So these trees, um, Yep, I think pretty obviously they are weak to fire. These things are also very annoying. Because one of their attacks can poison up to both of us at the same time. Which is great. So I'm going to bring the Inferno out. That will be of some serious help. Why did I use Glacier? <laughs> yep, poison both of us at the same time. And Nat does not have any multi-target purify moves. There's only a tiny bit of health left there. Uh, I can get away with... I don't think the poison damage will get me because it's a transition. Never mind. Alright, Matt, uh, use Eruption. Boom. Still didn't kill it. And... Hmm. They're probably just gonna poison us later. 
The poison's not even that bad. I'm gonna keep going like this just for a little bit. Heal when I need to. It's like right now. Their magic attacks uh, won't actually do much for um, Nat's MP recovery while defending, so it's not really going to do very much for me. So I will need to use the ether pretty soon on her. Alright. And while it doesn't immediately show, poison does stack a little bit, so once that starts happening, we want to get rid of it. More trees! Because why not? Down goes one. I'll start trying to get this poison off. One of these guys is going to poison me again, I'm sure of it. Yep. Why do I even bother? And that can happen. Uh, so that is Matt's one summon Mog, but sometimes he can just uh, come out all of his own at complete random and give you a random item. Luckily, that item does not come out of our stash, so uh, we're safe on that end. But we'll... Disruption again. Oof. There's poison off of Matt. Thank God. Of oh, course. Why the hell wouldn't you? That's one really bad thing. Uh, if an enemy can use a status inflicting move, it will. Constantly. So that's totally not annoying at all. I'll just use that antidote. I'm gonna buy more later. We really should only need Purify for the most part. But there is gonna be a point later on when we get to another shop. I am gonna buy a bunch of antidotes. Don't! Thank you, Mog. Alright. You deserve that. I'm gonna hand it back. Sweet. No boss for the trees, but uh, we do have this thing. It's the Sentinel, I believe? This guy can be pretty nasty, so um, what do I want to do? I'm going to switch to the Stone Edge, because that uh, does a fair bit for mass defense. I am going to use an Aether on Natalie. You know, Screamer doesn't work very well in this thing, so there's not really much I can do in terms of dropping its magic defense. Um, what am I doing? I, don't, I know what I need to do already. I need to use Airstrike. It's weak to, um, it's weak to Thunder and Bombs. So if we have Bomb items, we can use them, or just use Mass Airstrike. And now use Thunderbolts. does a lot of damage, as you can see. What we really want is the big bombs, because that, that's going to do the massive damage. What I should be doing is buffing our defenses. Why have, why have not already done so, I couldn't tell you. I really couldn't. Yeesh. Matt's got the physical defense buff. Well, Nat, heal us up. Sweet. Alright, so we should be good there. I don't think the attack boost is gonna work with Airstride. No, it's not affected by play stat changes, so... We're gonna have to deal with what we got. 
we can keep getting the single missiles, though, that will, uh, that will end this pretty quickly. And if they can stop doing that... <laughs> Even with the defense buffs, that's a lot of damage. And again, there isn't really much I can do to buff uh, Nat's defense as much as Matt's. He's got a sword for that. She don't. We are making good progress, though, so that's something. I could use a summon, too. I could use Registeel. Huh. How much damage would Peachy do? It's electric. Hmm. Let's try Peachy. A bit. Not a lot, but, you know, a bit. I really should have thought about using Registeel just so I could drop his defense a bit. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. Let's bring in Registeel. Alright, Dan goes to defense a little. Should help us out a bit, I think. I mean, airstrike will do physical damage, sure. I think so. Looks like it anyway. These are hitting pretty damn hard. And I'm gonna need to do some serious MP refillage very soon. Okay, Thunderbolt is uh, confirmed better than Pichu. <laughs> Sweet! Exactly what we wanted. Ah, oh, the Defender. Ah, uh, time for a break. So now I'm going to buy a bunch of antidotes. Uh, I want more eaters. I am going to need them. Uh, I'm good on water supply, something like that. Hmm. Oh, right, I need bubble as well. I'll get rid of one of them. That should be pretty good, I think. I can see myself spamming antidotes, so I'm just gonna wait. There we go. That looks good to me. Don't even need to heal off. <laughs> All right, so now we have crabs. These things are uh, being water-based. Uh, you could assume that they're weak to thunder, and you'd be right. Know what else they're weak to? Oh, funnily enough, I still got the stone edge out, so uh, it's pretty good for me. <laughs> Yeah. Pretty much just keep going like that, really. I really should be making better use of Screamer, I think, to follow well, magic defense and all that. Because most bosses are resistant to Screamer. Yeah, why not? Let's give it a shot. That's magic. Works for me. Now, apart from attacking, crabs are also able to withdraw into their shells and get pretty defensive, so... Yeah. I think you only do it after you deal a certain amount of damage to them, so... I don't know, I'll see how we do with that. Why is this back up? I just, I just blocked every- yeah, like that. Thank you, Mog. You. Still doing pretty good damage, even though it's blocking, so there's that. 
There's another crab. I don't know what that does. I don't know if it heals it or not. Like, because you know, I can't see its health bar anymore. Hopefully, this will do it. There we go. Oh, there's another one of the Reggies. <laughs> Look, yeah, the next boss is Reggie Ice. <laughs> Now, being a nice type, it's obviously weak against fire. So, we gons to take advantage of that. I also definitely need to throw up a barrier. Now, Regius has much better um, magic defense than it does regular defense, so we definitely want to Definitely want to hit it with more physical attacks, which I'm pretty sure all of Bushido is. Uh, what I do need to do first, though, is hit protect. I want those defenses up. Heal Natalie up. Alright, so we should be good to just start wailing on it. Nice. It doesn't have any other way to right? Just fire? Pretty sure it's just fire. Yeah. I'm not sure how much of that health bar it's doing because <laughs> the eruption covers it up. <laughs> I think I call for another heal. Another eruption. And it just retreated. But we're not done with the Reggies yet. Here's the third one, Reggie Rock. Now, Reggie Rock is weak to ice and bombs. So, like with uh, the Defender, I'm going to switch to the Stone Edge so I can have some extra defense. I'll kick off by healing the both of us. Now I'll start slamming it with airstrikes. Alright, we definitely want more. <laughs> and ice. Pretty much just keep going like this, I guess. When I start getting low on uh, MP with Matt, I'll switch over to the um, Devil Sunrise <laughs> for a bit. Now, Reggie Rock uh, is more physically defensive than magically defensive, so Glacier should be doing some decent enough damage anyway. Yep. And obviously the physical attacks. It's, uh, that's a thing. Deal a bit of magic damage to it. Steady pace anyway. I'll reapply the protect. Get Nat healed up. Throw in another airstrike. And then I'll reapply the barrier. Really want more of those single missiles to come down. Want that damage. A lot of damage. Right. There we go. Now that's a lot of damage. <laughs> that up. One more of those, I think, should do it for Reggie Rock. There we go. 